Bulls Nation, again, leading into the offseason and leading definitely towards next season, we do have a lot of things to talk about if, with a lot of our players. Last time we talked about Larry Market and what his future might be with the Chicago Bulls or elsewhere. And today, we're going to go into a more hopefully positive type video and definitely someone that I'm really excited to talk about, someone that I'm really excited for next season, our rookie, who won't be a rookie next season. Our first year player has had his season completed seven. 21 games, started all of them, and ladies and gentlemen, he is someone that I think a lot of people have their eyes on, ready for next season, and let's talk about him, let's talk about Patrick Williams in this video. Let's do it. What's going on everybody? It's the Aiden Sports Show and welcome back to another video. Today we've got a Chicago Bulls related video and another one of our players that will be talking about our rookie who again next season we will have a lot to look forward to in terms of his production, in terms of his progression, in terms of his growth. Patrick Williams with the fourth pick in the 2020 NBA draft. The Chicago Bulls pick Patrick Williams and we have not looked back since. But before we get started please like and subscribe to the Aiden Sports Show YouTube channel. Turn notifications on and let me know in the comments below your thoughts about Patrick Williams. How good was his first year? Was it good enough? Was he worthy of all the praise that he got? And overall, do you think his future will be as bright as many people believe? And of course, as Patrick Williams probably believes in himself. So... Again, we need to talk a lot about Patrick Williams. A lot of people, a lot of things have changed from when we first saw Patrick Williams, our very first perception of Patrick Williams. Because I, I believe the day before the draft, I uploaded a video discussing Patrick Williams, discussing that the rumors were heavily inclined that we were going to draft Patrick Williams. And I saw a lot of people on that day, rightfully or wrongfully so, and I'm not here to pick blame, I'm not here to target people out. A lot of people had mixed opinions on Patrick Williams, and a lot of people did not like that selection the day before the draft. And that was a rumor that was going around. And obviously, we talked about Patrick Williams the day of the draft. And once again, to mixed opinions. Many people believed that he we should have drafted lower. I was one of those people. And again, I can, I can be wrong and I can accept when I'm wrong. I believe Patrick Williams was definitely worth the fourth pick. In hindsight, of course, hindsight's a beautiful thing. But at the beginning, at the very um, draft, the draft night, I thought we should have drafted lower. I thought we should have traded lower and we could have got Patrick Williams then if that's what the Bulls needed. But again, how wrong I was. Because ladies and gentlemen, a year later nearly, probably a little bit less than a year later, a few, around a couple months later, I don't really know the time frames. The Chicago Bulls drafted Patrick Williams and the Chicago Bulls delivered on that draft. And not only that, Patrick Williams himself delivered in many, many ways that I don't think we all saw possible. So the thing about Patrick Williams is that we first saw him, he was a very good NBA ready athlete in terms of his body, in terms of his athleticism, his his vertical, all of these things. Um, but what we really didn't see about him is his offensive capabilities, his dribbling capabilities, and, and of course, being able to fit into the team system and all of these things. We weren't ready or we weren't willing to see that out of Patrick Williams because of his college um, years, also because of what he was expected to go on the draft. A lot of people didn't see the value of having Patrick Williams on this team. But what we saw slowly throughout the year, throughout the months, we saw Patrick Williams become a little bit more aggressive in his shot selection. He was going into the paint more. He was obviously re ready defensively, guiding the best players on every team. Luka Doncic, LeBron James, Kawhi Leonard, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Kevin Durant, all of these players, he had, Patrick Williams had the assignment on, and sometimes he did great, sometimes he did a little bit poorly, but at the end of the day, he stood up to the challenge as a rookie, and that is something that needs to not be ignored. He stood up to every single challenge put up in front of him. He wasn't afraid, we weren't protecting him, we sent him to the wolves, and he managed to survive, and that is a great thing to see out of Patrick Williams. And again, the offensive capabilities, the mid-range shots, obviously the three-point shot, obviously you see the cutting into the rim. These are things I did not expect so quickly out of Patrick Williams. His mid-range jump shot looks elite, and he's only a rookie in the NBA. He 
looks like that jump shot could be so easy to get every single time, every single possession. He could probably get a jump shot like that if he really wanted to. That is the potential that Patrick Williams has on his hand. Obviously, his three-point percentage was actually really good to see. He's a 39% three-point shooter in his first year in the NBA. A lot of people have to adjust to that three-point line. Patrick Williams wasn't one of them. And overall, there's not really anything besides maybe the consistency issues in terms of his aggression that is an issue with Patrick Williams. He's been great. His averages this year has been 9.2 points per game, 4.6 rebounds per game, 1.4 assists per game. He shot 48, I believe, percent from the field. And of course, as I said before, 39% from three. He has had a very, very, very good year as a rookie. And again, if you go back into the NBA draft, knowing what you know now, the question that should be asked, do you select Patrick Williams? That's the question. That's the question. If the NBA draft was to happen tomorrow and none of these players actually were, uh, we know all about these players, but none of these players actually played a game in the NBA. The question is, would you still draft Patrick Williams? And I think maybe eight out of 10 people would say, absolutely, you still draft Patrick Williams. He might not be the finished product now. He might have not been the best rookie. He's definitely not gonna win rookie of the year. But with that being said, he has a tremendous upside. We have seen it game in and game out for 71 games of the season that he is something that we could really use. He's a good defensive presence. He has a potential on offense that is sky high. He could be Kawhi Leonard. He could get up to that level and those are the things that cannot be ignored. And that is why with Patrick Williams, I'm giving him tremendous praise for a very successful first year. A first year where he didn't have really a terrific preseason. He didn't really have a preseason at all. Four games, I don't think, I think you need more than that in a preseason. Summer league, no summer league for Patrick Williams. Usually the most exciting part about seeing a player like Patrick Williams and players like Kobe White is their development through the summer league. Are they gonna stand out compared to other players in the summer league? Are they gonna progress in their second year? Which hopefully we can see Patrick Williams do in the future summer league uh, season that hopefully will be able to be played. And again, we didn't get to see any of that. We threw him straight into the fire and we watched him thrive and we watched him do his thing. And again, it hasn't been perfect. It hasn't been easy. It hasn't been always successful. There have been games where we think about Patrick Williams and you think, I wish he had more shots. I wish the team made more plays for him. I wish that he was being more aggressive. And all of those things are still true till this day. But the fact of the matter is, this guy is still 19 years old and he is delivering on the Chicago Bulls. He's a rightful starter for the Chicago Bulls and he's been doing it for all season. And that is the most exciting part. That is the part that I can't wait to see what will happen next season. I can't wait to see the leap he takes. I can't wait to see what type of player he'll be in the future. And again, we've seen this with a lot of our other players, with Larry Markkinen, we could see it with Kobe White, Wendell Carter. These players have tremendous debuts in the NBA they do well, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they will stay ready. They will stay well. But in my opinion, Patrick Williams is different to those players. There's been something in Patrick Williams that we've seen from the very first preseason game against the Houston Rockets since those days. And again, against um, the OKC Thunder in the first game of the season, even when we're getting smacked by the Hawks, there's something interesting. There's something special about this guy. And I don't know what he's going to become in the future, but I really wanted to talk about Patrick Williams today. I really wanted to talk about how special this kid can be. So what do I expect from him next season? I expect him to gradually improve. Again, it's it's slow and steady for Patrick Williams. There's no need to rush him. He doesn't need to be a 25 point per game scorer next season. He doesn't need to be that. He can he, he can take his time. He can develop the right way. Hopefully, there's no um, rush and forcing him into things that he's not ready for. Because that's how a lot of NBA players fail. They're being put in a spotlight or being put in a position where they might not be ready for, and they don't end up doing well. We've already rushed him. We've already pushed him, and he's done well. But we need to make sure we can remain patient with Patrick Williams. Please remain patient with him. Don't give up on him on the second season if he's not the big leap that we expect. Because again, you see players like Kawhi Leonard. Four years it took him to become the player that he was. And again, we might have to deal with that with Patrick Williams as well. Obviously, players, even players like Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert was a bench warmer at best when he was in, introduced in the NBA. Now he's the best defensive center in the NBA. Even Nikola Vucevic, every single year, he's gotten better and better and better. But he wasn't always that all-star elite center from the very beginning. 
these players take time to develop. These players need some adjustments in their game, needs to improve on their game, work on their game, have the coaching beh stuff behind them. The player development gr group needs to be sensational and that will allow Patrick Williams all the tools in the shed to become a brilliant player in the NBA. And I really, really hope that we can continue to see that. I just want to see gradual improvement. I want to see a little bit more aggression out of Patrick Williams. I want to see the Bulls make plays for Patrick Williams. I believe that's the next step for him and hopefully we could see a better improved season out of our hope our second year player at this time uh, he'll be a second year player by the time next season comes around hopefully we can see an improved season out of him uh, another leap in the right direction and not only a leap in direct in the right direction for him but in the leap in the right direction for the bulls and how we see him how we use him how we utilize him and how he can be able to thrive in a system that's built around him in many ways because let's be honest this first season he had a terrific season but there was no plays made for him there was no plays made for him. He was a corner shooter for the majority and he had to make his own shots. He had to drive himself. He had to take mid-ranges himself. There was no backdoor cuts. There was no screens made for him. He got the ball and he made something happen for himself. That was the bulk of his play. Imagine what he could be if there were plays made around him, if he was able to get those mid-range shots constantly because of plays made with him. And again, we might not see that as much as we like with Zach Levine and Nikola Vucevic taking the reins and the bulk of our shots. But Patrick Williams is definitely a threat that we should not ignore and hopefully we do not ignore. I'm going to end this video here. Again, this is a video. There's not real too much analytics behind this video. It's just me putting on the camera and praising a rookie that deserves praise. And many rookies, nearly all the rookies in the NBA right now deserves praise. For, the, for this season, they've had a very different experience to many rookies around the world in any sport and especially in the NBA. They had to go through no summer league, a very little preseason, and straight into the fire with no arenas, no, no crowds in arenas, uh, very empty stadiums. They had to adjust to these things as well as playing a 72-game season, as well as a play-in tournament. A lot of these rookies deserve a lot of respect and a lot of praise. I respect each and every single rookie that has come out in this NBA season and played a different season compared to everybody else. This is an adjustment period that is very different for them. They had to go through a lot of things that many people will not have to go through next season, the season after, the season after that. Hopefully, hopefully they don't have to go through any of those things that our rookies have been through. Patrick Williams, Lamelo Ball, Wiseman, Edwards, Halliburton, all of these rookies, all these rookies have done very, very well in their, in their respective teams. I hope there's no team, no player that goes through the same thing again. And I hope they get the respective summer leagues. I hope Patrick Williams plays in the summer league this season or this upcoming um, next season. And I hope that Kobe White gets another chance in the summer league. Even though it's his third season, hopefully they can let him play. I hope Dotson gets an opportunity. I hope all these players get the respective opportunities that they deserve to continue to develop their game. And we're going to have to wait and see what happens on that. But again, a huge praise to Patrick Williams. I've given him a lot of respect. And of course, the praise comes with a little bit of a downside as well and I mentioned those downsides in this video but again to not be optimistic about this player I think you're going to be foolish and I think hopefully he'll prove you wrong next season and I think he will do so and I think he'll do so pretty convincingly but we shall wait and see thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe if you're new have a wonderful and safe day Bulls Nation I'll see you in another Chicago Bulls video take care and peace